Good evening. Welcome, seniors. Welcome to the 2021 Senior Celebration, celebrating your class. And we're celebrating you. Your class is like no other. You've experienced things that no other senior classes have experienced. And we're always proud of our Linfield graduates, but this year's class certainly has something special. You've completed your course coursework in person, online, hybrid. You've finished degrees despite wildfires, hazardous air quality, ice storms, and a global pandemic. And you didn't just complete your degree, you thrived. You've gained skills such as perseverance, resilience, flexibility. Those skills will carry you forward into this ever complex society. You've learned to use your critical thinking skills and you've found your path. We are very proud of you. You were engaged and you were involved. You gave your time and talents through athletics, the arts, student leadership, and more. And we're excited to see where life takes you. But first, we're excited to celebrate this weekend. To kick off the celebrations, it is my honor to introduce tonight's senior student speaker. Michaela Sponsor, Sponsel came to Linfield from Portland, Oregon. She majored in exercise science and minored in coaching, and she's been a very busy student throughout her four years. Michaela served as a peer advisor and completed an internship with the SNAC program and Physicians Medical Center. She is also a force on the soccer field. She used that love of sports when for two years she served as the ASLC Intramural Sports Director. This year, Michaela served as the ASLU Vice President and Student Representative on the Board of Trustees. She's been very active with her sorority and she studied in England during Jan term. After graduating, Michaela plans to pursue a master's degree in nursing from Augusta University in Georgia. Please welcome tonight's speaker, Michaela. Hi guys. Uh, did I just warn Zaya? <laughs> okay. All right. As my time at Linfield is coming to an end, I think of the very first days I had here with you all. There was that wild thing called cat camp where this extremely enthusiastic Linfield person we all now know as Debbie took us through a whole bunch of trivia questions where we won a lot of large Odmo's pizzas. <laughs> then the next day as wide-eyed freshmen, we were ushered to the Playfair event on the football field. It was there that we were told we would probably meet the person we would marry in the next four years. I distinctly remember looking at these people I met like two days before and laughing because we all thought they were crazy. While, they might, while this might have been true for some of us, they were way out in left field for others. Yet the concept of marriage is rooted in the idea of always having someone and loving them forever. While it is not in the traditional sense of romantic love, I can truly say I have found my best friends, my ride or dies, and people that I truly and deeply love here at Linfield. We have all almost finished this milestone called college, yet I'm less thinking about what college is really about. Sure, we can say it's about getting an education, gaining experience, and that several thousand dollar piece of paper at the end. But I believe there's more than that. If it was all about the piece of paper, then wouldn't everyone just attend college online? College is more than that. Linfield is more than that. It is not just about passing all these classes, graduating, and then getting a job. Linfield has shown this to us all. It has given us life experiences, helped us grow as individuals, and has become a part of our journey in finding ourselves. For some, that is figuring out what you're passionate about. For others, it's discovering what love is. And for others, it's simply understanding the idea of independence. It wasn't until I was reminiscing on past memories with my friends a couple months ago that I truly understood how much all of our identities have evolved. As we learned more about ourselves, those around us, and formed our own beliefs, we have become the individuals that we are today. We have learned to be independent, how to live with others, how to cook, some of us better than others, <laughs> and most importantly, we all know how to do our own laundry now. It might have taken a few calls home, a few burnt meals, and some of our favorite shirts shrinking, but we did it. 
Linfield has taught us so many life lessons that it is now part of who we are, for better or worse. Life is constantly throwing challenges our way, and we never know what might be coming. So I say to you all now, we don't get many more of these moments. My little best friend and one of my favorite humans in the whole world has been telling me this for the past couple of months. As I stand in front of you, I am constantly reminded that there are so many lasts that have already happened. Some that we might not even realize were our lasts. Like, who would have known that Marky Basie would be our last wild dog? Or we would be having a drive through commencement. <laughs> While we have missed out on some of the memories that we thought we would have, nothing could take away the ones that we have already created. I will always cling to the random nights that I had with my best friends, spontaneous adventures, and forever memories that we created together. Linfield has provided us all with unforgettable experiences and bonds that we will have forever. No matter what happens in the next year, we will all have these past few years to remember and relationships we have built to lean into in the tough times and the great times. As I think about the experiences we have had here at Linfield, I will always cherish the ups and downs we have shared together. I am so grateful for the people that I will ever, forever have in my life but even more thankful for the experiences that made me into the person I am today. For many of us, we never pictured our senior year to be full of mask wearing, quarantining, and COVID testing. Even though this is not what we expected, it is truly an experience that we will never forget and that we all persevered through together. For each of us, graduation has a different meaning. For some, it is the conclusion of a multi-year battle with school. For others, a simply another milestone in your educational career. Whatever this achievement means, enjoy it. Cherish these last moments we all have together in this place we have called home for these last few years. When you're handed that diploma, it signifies the end of a chapter in your life and the beginning of, the of your adventures as a Linfield alumni. I hope you're all able to look back on this chapter and reminisce on the crazy stories with your roommates and friends, the many sporting celebrations, the unexpected midnight adventures, the countless coffee trips, but most importantly, the moment that Linfield felt like home. We all have those moments where we felt like we found our place in people here, and it is something that bonds every Linfield person together. Over the past few years, we have been intentional, goal-oriented, and we have put in the work to get to where we are. Graduating from college is no small feat. We worked hard for this, and it should never and could never be summed up into one weekend. There is nothing normal about what we as a class of 2021 have experienced in this past year. While this drive through commencement isn't the closing of this chapter of our lives that we were hoping for, there is one thing that no one can take away from us, and that is that we are the class of 2021. That single paper that costs us all an absurd amount of money is something that can't be taken from us. But even more importantly, no one can ever take away the memories that we have made here together. Enjoy these last moments we all have here together in the Linfield bubble, because these are the times that will stick with us, not the random equations from classes we took our freshman year. With that, cheers to you all for persevering through the past years. You all deserve this recognition and so much more. I cannot wait to see what all of you accomplish. We will forever and always be the Linfield University Class of 2021. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Don Graphite. Don Graphite came to Linfield in 1996 as a professor of health education. She now holds the title of a professor emerita, but continues to teach the occasional class at Linfield. Her human sexuality class is always one of the more popular classes that she offered. She is an avid supporter of our women's athletic program, and I am proud to introduce her to present our acorn ceremony. Thank you. I just, I just want to say that I think I speak for all faculty, both, 
both past and present, to let you know how very proud we are of what you have accomplished. You folks are amazing. Way to go, Wildcats. All incoming Linfield students at opening convocation have passed by a wooden bull made from the historic old oak and claimed an acorn. Each acorn is symbolic reminder of a student's connection to Linfield and the power of education to transform lives, their communities, countries, and the world. Students are asked to bring the acorn back during commencement weekend so that it can be passed on to a new student in a future entering class. We now invite each of you to make your way to the stage. When you hear your name called, you're going to walk across the stage and leave your acorn in the bowl, just as you have left your mark on this university. So they will release you one row at a time and you will come down. Welcome the class of 2021. Olivia Edgington. Shahali Scheller. Michelle Cutterford. Nicholas Mifflin. Griselda Ayala. Robert Santos. Mia Leon Guerrero. Caitlin Blumenshine. Sierra Miller. Angie Gomez Orta. Gretel Valdez. Nicole Sturba. Grace Ryman. Angier, correct? Meg Angier. Alexandria Hunter. Tony Winters, Jr. John Lutaya. Chiaki? Chiaki Yoshikawa.
Cody Stevenson. Herco? Kai Herco. Espiritu. Catherine Espiritu. Isabella Kaloa. David Canoluna. Austin Kirkwood. Connor Morris. Cameron Perrin. Zachary Sherlock. Chase Whitaker. Luke Marks. Eldon Long. Mark Lehman. Connor Ashman. Daniel Johnson. Tanner Vandercoovering. Jake Perdinsky. Brian Hoon. Dayton Farrow. Seccaccini? Yep. Colton Seccaccini. <laughs> Ryan Kister. <laughs> Antonio Pena Anaya. <laughs> Anthony Shaw. <laughs> Hugh Hammonds. Jared Brandon Flondy. Ayana Turner. Bianca Morales Starr. Jordan Zielsdorf. Sean Webster. Fletcher Wilkin. Guadalupe Ramirez Ramos. Daisy Koblenz Hernandez. Natalie Amara. Kelsey Wilkinson. Shakela Schneider. Amanda Reeser. Sierra Dickinson. Austin Thomas. Do you go by commendatory? Commendatory. James Commendatory. Dylan Thomas. Connor Callanan. Tanner Earhart. Tony Ventura. Maya Renholt. Nissa Nicole Jensen. Olabari. 
Benedict Yolabari. Benjamin Ranire. <laughs> Abigail Hopp. <laughs> Kylie Simdorn. <laughs> Maxwell Bonda. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, Max! Samuel Paris. Kellen McRae. Yeah, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Sipos. Yeah. Cole Sipos. You got this. You got this. Tuli Halaganji. You got it. Niles Tuli Halaganji. Jura or Yura? Madeline Jura. Maddie Kelly. <laughs> McKenna Slavinsky. <laughs> Portia Tuga. Before we invite the next group of students down, please pay attention to the Jumbotron for a special video presentation.
a special thank you to our marketing and communications and Kelly Berg for putting on those productions. <laughs> to continue, Hannah Curry. Kendall Harrison. Alexandra Feller. Emma Olson. Natalie Sanchez. Hallie, correct? Hallie Johnson. Shasta Lofgren. Jordan Feinauer. Madison Podner. Genevieve O'Brien. Alyssa Langer. Tessa Dorfler. Tyler Sitton. Cameron Reuter. Delaney Shafti. Juliet. Arnswald, Reimer. Madison Reimer, Michaela Sponsal, Kristen Burke, Fiona Shields, Zoe Qualls. Kylie Bryan, Whitney Wells, Jessica Weiss, Ashley Ingalls, Angela McKelvey. How many names do you want me to say? You say Casey Thank you. Casey Dodgen. You got it? Panui. Panui, yeah. yeah. Lena Panui. <laughs> Simmons. Savannah Simmons. Haley Fujimori. <laughs> Michelle Ueta. Cameron Ventura. Yeah. Luke Fia. No, Luke Fia. Luke Fia. Paul Gerzel. Yeah. Jordan Lees. <laughs> Lily Holzman. Yeah. Michael Mannion. Jewel Miller. Ethan Myers. Annalise Ortwich. Tiana Young. Tiana Young. Rhonda Rickard. Clara Jones. Darren McCoy Lewis. Samudio. Emily Samudio. Faye Mitchell. Anne 
Ben Walkup. Elizabeth Thompson. Leah Thompson. Caitlin Rice. Shannon Stoller. Lucy Ellis. Kaylee Holland. Deanna Esman. Mackenzie Hall. Alana. Alana Nutman. Peyton Pearson. Keaton Wood. Andy Starkle. Jonathan Setti. Please pay attention to the screen to watch highlights from Linfield Wildcat athletes.
Oh, you guys are kind. Um, my name is Joni Claypool. I'm the Director of Constituent Engagement, and I have the absolute pleasure of working with alumni. And every time I talk to them, they want to know how you guys are doing, and I can guarantee they're so, so proud of you guys. So on behalf of all alumni, congratulations. Give yourselves a hand. Yes. So I just want to reinforce that we really hope your relationship with Linfield doesn't end today. When you see a wildcat out in the wild, you're going to see a bag on the airplane, you're going to see a sticker somewhere. Make that connection because our, our community is really special because of who we are and who the people are, and that includes you guys. So welcome to our Alumni Association. Stay connected. Come back to homecoming. Come volunteer. Let us know when you have some good, yep. Let us know when you have some good accomplishments. We want to share that in the magazine. Um, but we don't want to lose you. We want to stay connected and hear what's going on. So congratulations. I'm going to end it there. And welcome to the stage, Connor Ashman from ASLU Cabinet. What? Thank you. Sorry, just a sec. It happens. You know what? Let's go with it. <laughs> Thank you all, first off, for being here tonight. This could not have been done without any of you. So I want to start off by thanking you. When I was presented with the opportunity to take part in helping plan the events for this weekend, I was honored to work on behalf of all of you. But none of this could have been done without your unwavering support for not only these past few weeks helping us get this event off the ground, but over the past four years. <laughs> Sorry. It was paramount that as the class of 21, we had the chance during a year of such strife to celebrate as a class. And the celebration will continue for the esteemed class of 2021. In just a moment, we will leave this stadium and we continue to share memories, congratulate each other on achieving a life-changing benchmark. Just south of the stadium, near the concession stand, we have two food trucks. Hawaii 503 and Cream Northwest, free of charge to all those present here this evening. Not only are the food trucks free, but we also have, as you leave the stadium, the staff is here to hand out gifts to remind each of you of where it all began those many years ago. <laughs> With this year's commencement weekend being far from normal, there's something special that the commencement team wanted to do, not only for our class, but for Linfield in general. Nothing like this has ever been done before here on the Linfield campus in all of its renowned and established history. This paper is wet. <laughs> we invite you to stick around and be in the arena at 9 p.m. where the senior surprise will be sure to amaze. We want to end this year with, with a bang. So be sure to stick around for the next hour, get some free food, mingle with your fellow graduates as we make those final memories. And tomorrow you're invited to watch the virtual baccalaureate on the Linfield YouTube channel. And then on Sunday, many of you will have friends and family here to participate in car commencement celebrate with your fans and fr friends and family, and close out this chapter of our lives. Finally, on Sunday, May 9th, there will be a virtual commencement shown on the Linfield YouTube channel, featuring speeches by many esteemed professors, such as Brenda Marshall and our very own student body president, Sean Webster. I join the others here tonight who want to congratulate you on the success of a college career. Congratulations to all you and that we have accomplished. It is not without each other that we have made it this far. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and please do me the honor in joining me of one final Sco Cats. Sco Cats! Thank you. Hey, Connor. Connor. It, it really is a privilege for me to take you through this next step 
Um, this is the tassel turn. So will the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science please rise? That's all of you. <laughs> On the recommendation of the faculty and trustees, I have the great honor to present these candidates who have fulfilled all requirements prescribed by the faculty and rec recommend them for the baccalaureate degrees appropriate to their courses of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. On Sunday, I know many of you will cross the stage in the Oak Grove to receive your diploma bearing the seal of the university as appropriate to your course of study. For now, I invite you as the class of 2021 to turn your tassels. You may now turn your tassels from right to left. I have just one more thing I'd like to share. Um, when I started here in 1996, uh, President Vivian Bull would leave the classes, uh, the graduation class with these words and I'd like to share them with you. This is not me. This is from Dr. Vivian Bull. She said, um, while you may be leaving Linfield, let Linfield never leave you. Yeah, right here. Keep, keep Linfield in your hearts. Thank you. This concludes the ceremony here in the stadium. You're welcome to exit down that way where your, I believe your senior gifts are awaiting. Congratulations to everyone. <laughs>